Thank you for joining Quaint to explore the Accounts Receivable Business Function within SAP Business One. During this session, we will explore the Business Partner Master Data within the system. To open this window, simply navigate to Business Partners and Business Partner Master Data within the main menu. This window will typically open in Find Mode, which is great for searching for a specific customer record. If you know the customer's code, you can type it in and click Find. If you were unaware of the customer's code, but knew part of the customer's name, you can use wildcards to search within the name field. When you click Find, this will return a list of valid results to select from. This search technique also works on other fields within the Business Partner Master data. Looking at the header portion of the Business Partner Master data for Earthshaker Corporation, we can see the unique code that ties to this customer. We can also see the customer group that this account is assigned to, which can play an important role in reporting an advanced GL account determination, just to name a few. You may also notice some balances listed on the right-hand side of the window. For the accounts receivable role, the account balance functionality becomes an extremely handy and helpful tool. Let's click on the golden drill down arrow for a closer look. Here, you can see all of the accounting type transactions against this specific customer. This includes the debit and credit for the transaction, the balance due, and even the ability to drill down further into the specific SAP transaction itself to get more detail. If you are looking for a specific transaction, you can narrow the list down by date range. You can also choose to display the last 20 transactions, for example. And if you only want to identify the open or unreconciled transactions, you can check this box too. This window can be emailed, printed, exported to Excel or PDF, or even copy and pasted into Excel for further analysis. From here, you can also choose to perform an internal reconciliation or review the customer's aging and send customer statements. These functionalities will be outlined in detail in separate sessions. Back on the Business Partner Master Data screen, you can also see the customer's account balance for checks listed. The same filters for the account balance window appear here. This can be extremely useful to identify checks for the customer that are still open or have not yet been deposited within SAP Business One. If we go back to the Business Partner Master Data, the General tab houses basic contact information for the customer. From an AR perspective, it may be good to understand who the sales employee on record is, and you can also designate if a customer is active or inactive in the timeframes. On the Contact Persons tab, a list of all contacts for the customer appears. The default contact person is always listed in bold on the left-hand side of the window. Each contact has a unique ID and specific information on how to get in touch with them. One of the most important pieces of data within this tab is the email address. This can help drive communication to your customer's AP contacts regarding open invoices and much more. In another session, we will explore contact email groups and how they can benefit the accounts receivable role. Also included on the contact persons tab is the ability to tie each contact to a bill to or ship to address defined on the addresses tab. This can become extremely beneficial for scheduling in-person meetings and sending paper communications and bills through the mail. In order to add a new contact person, simply click to find new on the left-hand side Assign a unique contact ID 
and enter other important information. In this case, I'm going to connect Sally Michaels to the bill to address on record and click update. Let's move to the addresses tab. On the left hand side, you can see that there are two address types listed, bill to and ship to. In some cases, the billing may be done at a different location than the actual goods are shipped to, and that can be distinguished in this area. As you can see, the default addresses are listed in bold again. Each address has a unique ID and location. These addresses link back to the connected address field that we saw on the contact persons. Within the ship to addresses specifically, it is important that a default tax code is listed. Again, you can add a new address by simply clicking Define New within the appropriate address section on the left-hand side of the window and assigning a unique ID. Click Update to save. On the Payment Terms tab, many fields pertinent to the Accounts Receivable role appear. Here, you can assign payment terms, price list, and credit limit to the customer, just to name a few. The business partner bank information may be important if you are looking to implement bank statement processing. It is important to note that the credit card information on the right-hand side only stores the last four digits of the credit card and is not linked to any actual credit card processors. The Payment Run tab helps to define applicable payment methods such as bank transfers for the customer if using the Payment Wizard functionality within SAP Business One. On the Accounting tab, General tab, you have the ability to set a consolidating business partner or customer for payment consolidation. Think of this as an umbrella type setup where a larger mother company or customer may make payments on behalf of the subsidiary customer record. This can be defined here. The accounts receivable and payment advances GL accounts are automatically defined based on SAP defaults. However, you can change the accounts on a customer by customer basis on this tab if needed. In another session, we will explore the Dunning functionality within SAP Business One. On the Tax tab, it is important to note here if the customer is tax liable or exempt. An exempt number can be populated if the customer falls within that tax status. The Properties tab lists different yes-no attributes about the customer and can be beneficial during reporting. The Remarks tab is a free text field that allows users to enter notes about the customer and also upload an image, such as a customer logo. The Attachments tab allows the user to upload and save files within SAP that pertain to the customer, such as special contracts and pricing sheets. Straight from the Business Partner Master Data window, you can also take action upon the customer by creating AR invoices, AR credit memos, and other documents as needed. So far, we have explored an existing customer record. However, in some instances, the AR job function may also be responsible with adding a new customer to the system. In this case, when you open the Business Partner Master Data, you can click the Add button in the toolbar or Control-A on your keyboard to open the window in Add mode. Complete the appropriate fields and click Add to save the record.